Hello, welcome to this new Dr. Flow video. So here I would like to um, illustrate the type of permission that you need if you want to deploy solution package uh, in the Power Platform because it's some kind of it's somewhat confusing. And uh, my name is uh, Dr. Flo. I'm uh, also known as Serge Luca. I'm MVP in Office 365 and MVP in uh, the Power Platform business application. I'm based in Brussels and my company is Power Platform Associates. Let's start from the beginning. So I want to start from scratch. Uh, so I will create an environment So with my identity. So my identity, Serge Luca, is Power Platform Administrator. Um, I'm going to create a new environment. Production demo, something like that. It's going to be a production environment in Europe. I want a database. And uh, the language will be uh, English. Save. So let's go and see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, now uh, the production demo environment has been created and uh, let's switch to a uh, Brian C account. If I go to flow.microsoft.com and then to solutions. So Brian C cannot retrieve anything from the, the list of solution. Sometimes I have a where behavior because sometimes Brian C can still see something. So now let's get back to uh, the platform administrator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, first create a solution. Okay, so let's go to my production demo environment. I will create a quick and dirty solution. Demo test solution. Publisher is this guy. Create. And now in this solution, I'm going to create a flow, a very basic flow. Save it. Solution. And I will export it. Export. I want it to be unmanaged. That means that when I will re-import this solution, normally I will be able to edit the flow. So it all depends on what you want to do with with the content. The good practice is to uh, to export it as manage, but then user won't be able to edit the flow. So we have business citizen developers that could be a problem. Okay, so the solution has been downloaded. Now I can delete it from the environment. So I'm the platform administrator. And uh, now I'm going to um, switch back to Brian C account. So Brian C. So Brian doesn't have any permission. As you can see here, now the list of solutions show up uh, and Brian C. Uh, Brian C can see the list of solutions in the environment, which is a bit weird because Brian C doesn't have any permission. Anyway, so I will import a new, well, my existing solution. So normally it should not work. Demo test solution is this one. Yes.
Okay, so Brian C doesn't have permission to uh, to import that guy. Let's go back to the Power Platform Administrator, and then if you go to um, the Power Platform Admin Center for the environment, click on Settings and select Brian C. Users, Brian C, and then the role we can try. Which one work? Is the environment maker. I don't like this name because the name is very confusing. Environment maker is supposed to mean that the user can create environment, but environment maker in the Power Platform means that the user uh, can create resource, can create flow, can create apps, can create connection, can create custom connectors. Okay. And if I assign environment maker permission to Brian C, and if I wait a little bit, I wait a little bit to make sure that the permission has been uh, attributed to Brian C. Now, if I switch back to Brian C, um, let's refresh that guy. And so I'm Brian C. Okay. And I'm going to import the uh, custom solution in production demo environment so import choose file demo test solution And it does not work. It does not work because you need brand C need more privilege. So environment maker, environment maker is not enough. And basically what you need, what we need for Brian C, let's get back to Power Platform Admin. What I need is so let's remove environment maker. I need system customizer. So let's assign this permission. Let's wait a little bit to make sure that the permission is really be assigned. So it's not uh, always instant. So if I switch back to Brian C now, let's refresh. Import. demo test solution and that works okay so system customizer is probably the best uh, option for user who are supposed to be able to import a solution. Now, I've heard that if you create dynamic application, you might have to create something that we call plugins, and then system customizer might not be enough. So you might need uh, something like uh, system administrator. Okay, so, but we, we, we don't create plugins here, so normally that's good. I think I still think that uh, using a system administrator for the environment, of course, is, is a good option because most people don't understand what uh, system customizer means, right? So in a nutshell, if you want to deploy a solution in a Power Platform, the minimum privilege is system customizer. However, I believe that a good practice is to use a system admin, okay? system admin, of course, in the environment.
Thank you very much.